Hey guys, um, I get asked a lot, a lot of questions, you know, due to the popularity of my ant trap video. And um, everybody's like, hey Prince, you know, wh what do you do for roaches? What can I do for roaches? What can I do for roaches? And I'm going to show you today. And this is real easy and probably works better than most of the traps that you can buy or the baits that you can buy. Um, this is not a sticky trap, um, but what it is... Um, basically is different than a lot of the things that I've seen around in my research and stuff on YouTube. And one of the things I found is that, you know, a lot of people do things with like sugar and borax. And of course borax is going to be the thing. You find this in a laundry section that will actually kill the roaches. But, you know, what a lot of people say is do things like you mix sugar with the borax and stuff or something sweet. And, you know, what I've found is that there is a um, study that was done by some university that said that, you know, roaches think that sweet things, or a large variety of roaches think that sweet things are very bitter tasting, so they stay away from sweet things. So adding sugar to the borax is not going to help. Um, so what they found is that things like peanut butter, they are very very attracted to so we have peanut butter and borax and what I have here is my container tops and I pour a little borax in there so this is what you're going to do is really simple you're going to take your peanut butter and take your trusty spoon take a little tiny bit of it throw it on top of one of these uh, anything microwavable safe like that I'm going to take my finger, oh, you see that, let's put some peanut butter on top, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that in the microwave and get it warm so it's thinner in consistency. Alright, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I put that in the microwave right now. But, you know, this is just a regular peanut butter. I don't really eat peanut butter too much, but it's just, you can use any peanut butter you want. But the study that I saw took peanut butter and jelly, and they had them separately, and the roaches stayed away from the jelly, but they all congregated around the peanut butter. Now, I tried this with the peanut butter outside, and lo and behold, this also works for ants, so... If you want to do this for ants, the ants congregated around this thing like crazy. Now, all right, that's heating up. And you can see that peanut butter now is like a really wet consistency because it's hot. So I'm going to push this down so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Basically, all I'm going to do is take some of this here borax like that. And I'm just going to mix this in, stir it up, make a paste. My borax only works if they eat it and let me tell you, they love peanut butter, so give them what they want. Hey, last supper. It's going to be really delicious for them. They're going to love it, but they might get a little bit of uh, indigestion. <laughs> okay. So you're going to mix that in and incorporate it really, really good. Okay. All right. There you have it. Now what you want to do is take little bits of this and put it around in different places. Um, you could use like, you know, bottle tops or you know, just about anything you want 
and put a little dab of that in the middle of like say a bottle top and put that around in a lot of different places and what you have there is a roach bait that is much more effective than just about anything out there that you can make that's relatively non-toxic because the borax is has less toxicity uh, for, from what I believe I've read in scientific things like then table salt so and it's using laundry stuff that you might already have around the house you might already have peanut butter and borax I'll put little tiny bits like that in say bottle caps or or uh, tops like these tops of Chinese soup containers and put them around and you'll find that roaches go away they're gone and also, this works great for ants as well. Um, so that's it. How simple is that? Pretty cool, huh? Put a bunch of these out. Now again, the other thing you want to do is if you have roaches in your house, is you want to make sure you clean everything really well. Take the water sources away. Because, um, you know, if there's other foods competing with your bait, you want them to go for your bait. Um, the other thing is, consider this. That... What a lot of people don't tell you is that a lot of times the roaches live outside and they come into your house. Okay? So if they're coming into your house from outside and you're killing all the ones inside the house and then you see more, then the ones that you see in the house might not be from in the house. There might be new ones coming in from the outside. So what you first want to do is control the outside roaches from coming in and um, you can put little stations like this all over the place outside if you want and that not, will not only work for outside but also work for ants as well outside so you want to control them outside so that you don't keep bringing them in and when you control them inside that um, might be um, the best way to go for control because you keep seeing new ones you think they're from inside the house but they're really coming in from outside the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was, you know, like those sticky traps with the um, sex lures in them for the roaches. You know, those are really great. They work amazing. Only problem is, is if you have roaches outside and you put those sticky traps inside, you might be actually attracting roaches to get into your house from the outside. So, something else to consider. You know, if your problem is really outside, you might want to control that outside first before putting those sticky tra traps with the uh, pheromone um, sex lures inside of them in your house because you might just be you know you know, telling the roaches outside hey there's a wild sex party yep the memory ran out of my iPad as I was talking anyway I put this little trap outside because I sometimes have some ants and stuff around here and you know, that's where I put it so basically what I was saying before, if you put those sticky traps inside the house and it calls to all the roaches for a party inside, then they're going to come into your house. So, something to think about if, you, if your problem is originating from outside. Anyway, there it is. I put the uh, other borax around it just for fun. You don't have to do that because it's already in the... Uh, peanut butter all right so there we are just wanted to put it out there because uh, at this point I just have ants out here sometimes but uh, that will work like crazy for roaches and be amazing and stuff you already have in the house so good luck give it a try let me know how you make out and thanks for watching